Hot. Cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, then cold. Move that salt around in there. And then stop touching it. Leave it alone for like 20 minutes and let everything settle to the bottom. Take some of your stems and chop them really fine and add them when your greens are cooking. That just adds a little texture. Second wash, hot water, no salt. So the reason that you use hot water on the second wash is because you are massaging the greens, the leaves themselves. You're just kind of squeezing them, rubbing them together and kind of breaking down some of the fibers in the leaf and that'll help to make your greens tender faster and you don't have to cook them as long. So hot water on the second wash and maybe just like five minutes of massaging them, squeezing them rubbing them together, breaking up any, you know, big heavy leaves, clumps, and just squeeze them together. Just rub them, and you're not bruising them. You're just, you know, breaking them down. Wash number three is the final wash. That's just cold water. And this is where you're gonna rinse everything off. And since you just had them in hot water, the cold water will help to set the green color because we kind of slightly blanched them in the hot water, okay? So to make your green stock, today I'm using a pork stock. So I have a half a cup of water, a cup of chicken stock in there, and I'm gonna use smoked pork tails. I don't put onions in my green, but I will put this half onion in the stock. Okay, I'll take that out. Just for the flavor, not the actual onion. All of this is gonna come out. I'm gonna just place those around in there. And we want all the flavor, all that smoke flavor. I'm gonna add a little, more, a little bit more stock. We're gonna flavor the stock very simple because we're gonna flavor the greens as we cook. Just a little bit of garlic powder. A little black, black pepper. Sorry about my focus here. And so of course either this ain't nothing but lorries with a little bit of cayenne in it. Just a little bit of that. Not too much salt though because the pork is salty. Turn that up on high and let that go. So I just took the smoked meats off the burner. They were boiling for five minutes. I'm gonna let them sit there and rest for a second. I'm gonna taste that stock and see if I need to add anything. We're gonna put it back on the, on the pilot uh, and just let it boil away on low for about 20 minutes. Almost there. All right, stock is ready. Get you a spider or some tongs. Put everything on a plate to cool because you don't pull meat off of those tails to put back in your greens at the end, okay? All right, I'll be back. So now you've got your stock. Everything has been pulled out. Make sure you get everything. That is super concentrated because that was a lot of smoked meat for that little bit of stock. So we have water to help balance that out, okay? So you're gonna add I'll say a half of a cup. So just starting with a half a cup. Uh, because you don't want to overwater your stock. You want to add your greens and then if you need to add more water, you can always add more water, but you don't want to ever add too much in the beginning. All right now we're just going to add our greens. All right, so our greens are in. You can see the stock comes up kind of halfway. 
These are gonna shrink down to where they're basically almost submerged by that stock once they start to cook down. I'm gonna let these cook on that back, stone, uh, back burner back there for a few hours while I work on this roast. So the greens have been simmering away for over an hour on very low. I mean, they're, they're already done, but now we're gonna season them. And the pork stock was seasoned, but I like my greens a particular way, and I'm gonna show you how. So, for this last bit of cooking time, the next time while the roast is cooking, I'm gonna add my stems that I chopped up. A coarsely chopped bell pepper, cause I like bell pepper in my greens, not onion. Okay. We got a stuff, that's all gonna melt down. Three shakes of red wine vinegar. I'm not gonna need all that, but I would say two tablespoons of onion, onion soup mix. That should be good then. I still got some left if I need. We're gonna do paprika, teaspoon, soul food seasoning, a little quarter teaspoon because that's soft. We're gonna take some black pepper, teaspoon. Crushed red pepper flakes, just however you like it. I like it a little hot. All right, and we're gonna leave that alone for an hour. On low, still on low. All right, let's get a little taste. Mmm. Okay. That's the smoke meats. And then, I took, this is gonna be for the roast. But this is how I like it in my, in my greens. See those thin? And that gives them most flavor and then they just melt away into it, okay? You wanna add the rest of your smoke meats. All right, let's stir that up. And now we're gonna turn the heat up. So we've been on five. Now we're gonna turn it up to seven and let it cook while the roast is cooking. And seven, we're gonna kick it on high for a while and then we're gonna bring it down to two and just let it stay warm pretty much. I mean, everything is done. All right, y'all, they are done. So, the last thing I'm adding, that's less than a teaspoon of sugar. Off the heat, and that's gonna cut through that pepper and salt and make everything balanced. And there we are, all finished. Greens are tender, garlic is soft, pork is just fall apart. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, y'all can't have any.